yeah. my question is, what is our first subject? Well, that's sort of the thing. We didn't really come in with a plan. We were just like, you know what? Let's bring the podcast back. We didn't even. See, plan that is that our plan. first problem. We need shit to talk about. Well, okay, that's the first. That's, that's, be, that's, that's a good thing be... to talk about. That's here's a good thing to talk about. The TGC work ethic. Would you all say we're an organized bunch? We're a bunch uh, of fucking bombs. Fuck no. Absolutely fuck no. Not. People. Not even a little bit. Any, any, like, like a lot of people don't like. A lot of people haven't tried to do YouTube shit before. But let, let me just say that like. This shit trying is a lot do... harder than you fucking think. Well, all also right? trying trying to organize a group of like this because like not everyone necessarily appears in every video, but there's mm-hmm. like 20, 30 of us total. No way, we have Try... that many. Yeah, no, there is because like if we like he, like just like if you literally just look at it, it, this podcast room, there's the five of us and Gil and Mario. That's seven already. Let's just, no. like, if I go to our other fucking server... I, I, I want you um, all to know that, no, just in general, it's fucking hard to, like, yeah, do fucking like, YouTube. Because you have to make videos that show to a certain demographic. You have to hope that YouTube will recommend your videos to people. You have to hope those people will like your videos, comment, yeah. subscribe, and share. And then on top of that, if you get a fan base of nothing but TF2 people, and one day Galen or somebody says, you know what, TF2's not fun anymore, let me move to something. There goes your entire fan base, because you made an entire fan base based on yeah, TF2. Yeah, but I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll never fan. stop I'm not playing, playing TF2, I'm, though. I'm not, I'm not the fucking... <laughs> and, if they're not, and if they're not done, and, and if your friend, if your uh, fan base just came from TF2 and they're not real fans, not going to migrate and see you happy doing something else. I know, Galen, you're never going to leave fucking TF2. It's an example. You put over like $400 fucking dollars into this thing and you're still oh, rocking more it. More than 400 Yeah, you're, you're still rocking with it. You put an entire fucking child's college fund into this. Like, I, yeah, I, I could have paid for a year of college. <laughs> like, this, man, this man single, single-handedly funds Valve. Like, it's, it's, it's not okay. That's about right. Okay, yeah. well, well, okay, not like right. community college, not like fucking Harvard. No. Uh, yeah, do yeah. you want to go over your inventory? Like, we'll talk about all the shit you bought and what. Um, you know? what, what's in your inventory, game? Yeah, what's yeah, in your TFT? Let's talk about what's in your game inventory. Four? I mean, I'm 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 down to talk. I can't share my screen on a podcast. That's fine. Aesthetic. I'll open your. Uh, just thing. tell us. Just tell us what's one of the hardest things you worked on. We can we can just put we can just put this in the post in the post. Just someone flash up my inventory. Um. Okay, so first things first, in my inventory total, there's 787 items. Okay, right. I don't want to, I, I lied, I don't want to hear 787 items. Yeah, We're no, not going to go over right. every single Let's one, because like, not the all the top important. five that you're... But I'm yeah, just saying, five. for a scale, that's how many I have. What's your top five? So, what, what's, what's really, okay, so first things first is probably my, unus- my unusuals. I own three. Uh-huh. I used to own more, I sold a couple. For uh-huh. uh, something I'll talk about in the end. But the first things first is I have... My unusual Das Nagen Vacher, which is the... So, for those who don't know, uh, I, w- I wear Aces High, like, on my TF2 loadout. And that's, like, just, like, like, circling cards. And I named them all after Yu-Gi-Oh! references, because, of course, I did. And it's, like, my favorite effect. So, I got uh, I got two hats, basically. I got the D- Nagen Vacher, which is, like, just, like, a stall helm, if you all are familiar with what that is. And then I got the Legendary Lid, which is, a fucking, which is just a weave hat. It's just it's the, it's the weave hat. Uh, one of them is way more expensive than the other. The Naga Vacher was thirty bucks, uh, and the and the uh, what the, the legendary lid was a hundred keys, so it's like two hundred dollars. Shout out to Mario. Uh, uh, and yeah, the what makes the legendary lid more expensive is it's a strange, unusual. Those are very rare. I'll be real with you. If you want to talk about farming a dead fucking game. We've got to talk about my fucking For Honor reputation, all right? Because this shit is not okay, <laughs> all right? Yeah. I'm going to be real with you. If For Honor was an eSport, I'd be on an E team. What I am is Diamond 4, meaning I'm one rank away from Master and then Grandmaster. When you get to Grandmaster, it's just a leaderboard of who's the fucking best, period. I want you to know that game is so fucking unbalanced, but I like this thing called Pain. It's like cock and ball torture without the cock and balls. So I basically, every time I play that game, it's like me wanting to kill myself. But if, you, if, like, like, if you've ever been so good at a game and you know you can't leave the game because you're so good at it, it's exactly what I go through. I like, dude, I have like over 250 reps into that game. I have literally almost hours? every item. In that game, but I, I played. Let me think. I uh, I played after, for the people that like know Fronter, I guess I played after uh, the year one pass. 
So before the Wu Lin happened, if you after the Wu Lin, like like before the Wu Lin, that time period right there, from that time period and forward, every limited time event, every limited time match, and every limited time effect, I fucking had. Wow. I I've I've told I've, ta- I've told this to Marcus before, but I only played year one. I never played yes. after. Which is very good because you saved yourself from this character called Griffin. That I will physically, if you main Griffin, I want you to know I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna rip your ball sacks off. And Isn't feed Griffin it. just a character that has like he everyone fucking else's sucks. moveset? He fucking sucks. Um, That's what he does. What do you mean by sucks? Like he's stop, good. Stop. Or I like... would no, no, no. I, like, like there's too much. It's too much to explain. This entire podcast would be me explaining on why For Honor is unbalanced and how I could fucking fix it by myself. Oh, good. He's just <laughs> broken. Exactly, he's just broke. Yeah. Leave that, that. Just, just leave that. Uh, he's there. Okay. Everybody has that one game that you know you're fucking uh, addicted yeah, to. Mine's just for honor. For me, it's TF2 and Dark Souls. I don't know. Uh, ben, you play a lot of CS, don't you? Uh, CS and Valorant. Yeah, I have what 800 hours in CS, Ew, which is baby. baby. And then I have at least 800 in Valorant. I think I've. Man, so let me more. play the game version of Overwatch and play Valorant. <sighs> Bro, Yo, what are you I'm talking about? To Overwatch. I'm just playing. I don't really know what I'd say. That, that, that what would you game say is the game you're the most into? Holy shit. I, I, I'm loading up a stream right now to watch like one of my friends play, but GMC just released a brand new Hummer Electric. It's a Hummer, That's but electric. so fucking stupid. Yeah, That's, like, like why would you make a Hummer? But a, like, like, the reason, so okay, so cool, you made an electric car. But if it's a Hummer, like, you've already undone all the work. Yeah, right, so, so yeah no one drives a Hummer because they. If, want if you don't green. know, a Hummer is just a de-armored Humvee, like military Humvee. That's what a Hummer is, right? And back in like what 2007, 2008, when they were super popular, they were cool and all, but the amount of fucking gas mileage that shit took was like I couldn't go to the store and back without refilling my fucking tank, and that shit was like three hundred dollars every time. Oh, you have to reserve your place to get the Hummer, the electric Hummer. That's, oh Why would God. you want an electric Hummer, though? Like, who, who gives... I'm happy with my little Honda Fit, that 30 it's miles to the gallon. $80,000. $80,000 for an electric fucking Hummer? Hummer? Who the uh, fuck gonna pay right. for that? That's no one. At that no point, one. Dude, at, 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 dude, at that point, the... you buy a fucking Tesla. Yeah, but you can get... electric. But all the electric Hummers that are coming out this year, all the reservations are full, and that one was 115k. Uh, what? The next, one, it, the next one for fall 2022 is 100k, and then the one available in spring 2023 is 89k. Why would you get an and electric Hummer for $100,000? For... When the Sorry, Tesla roads, you know how many days. solemn vows I could buy for $100,000? Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ, Galen. No one cares. I care. Well, you're not. Gotta, you know what? I've got a. I got a real question. Right? I got a real mm-hmm. question. Yeah. I got a real question. Listen. Don't wait, you? The fucking... electric comet has 625 hit points. Um. <laughs> he said 625 Connor, HP. Connor. 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 I mean. Yeah, you're fucking with me, right? You're fucking points. with me, right? Tell me you're fucking with me. It says up to 625 Connor, HP. I don't Connor, know what Connor, HP Connor, means in Connor. 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 Horse power, not <laughs> HP. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about. I got a, I got a real hit point. Don't you hate I don't care guy? about. I don't care about words. I don't. Let, let Marcus ask his questions. Stop going on about the Humvees. <laughs> fucking. You know what? You know what I fucking. Shit. I hate the fact that like, kind of like the way life is. So like, to be honest, if you're if you're a hardworking grown ass man that want, has got hair on your chest, you can make about. Let me think. About forty to sixty k by just doing a trade, right? Um, and, and like, like if I'm 19, let's say if I was 19, I was doing a plumber, but I'm like 20, by the time I'm 24, I can be making six figures being a, a, a plumber, right? Mm-hmm. That's the, that's the easy slash hard way out, right? The hardest way, or it's hard now, and then it gets easier is going to fucking college. Um, getting the amount of fucking debt that, uh, apparently like the United States have, you know, we're like trillions of dollars in debt, right? Who the fuck do we owe money to? The fuck Every- this- okay, 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 okay. So I'm actually okay, really this passionate is- about this. Okay, hold on. This is really complicated. Every no, 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 no. single country on yeah. Earth is in debt to every yeah. other country That's on Earth. That's what I'm saying. So no, no, no. But the U.S. is unique in this. In we are unique in the fact that we owe ourselves debt. Which sounds yeah. crazy. The government and the people owe our own citizens money. This is why, this is why if I ever go to jail, it's for fucking tax evasion. 
Hell yeah, you, brother. Like Hell yeah, brother. We all going down for tax evasion together. I'm not taxes. going. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> going to. I'm not going to jail for murder. I'm not going to jail for bank robbery. I'm going to jail because I told the president at the time, I'm not paying your fucking tax, bitch. Mm. Confirmed here first, Marcus is a co confirmed. <laughs> yeah, tax uh, evader. Marcus has been evading his taxes for years. Look, man, I'm only 18, so I haven't really had to pay taxes yet. And all the jobs I've had have paid taxes by themselves, which means go fuck yourself because I lost a lot of money. Besides the point. That's the point facts. Is, I lose so much money is, on taxes. Is that if I ever go to prison at the age from 20 to 40, it's because I evaded my fucking I lost taxes. like 40 bucks to taxes on Twitch. Damn, that's a lot. Yeah. Wait, I can get my yeah, most recent no, pay stuff. No, the, the thing in Twitch is that the thing is, it's fucked for Twitch too. So Twitch gives you money that's already taxed, and then you have to go out and tax that shit again. Hmm. Me one. All right. Um. I okay. Here's say the thing. What if I made spend... this year? But oh. I've got I've got my uh most recent pay stub, and this year I've paid two hundred twenty nine dollars in state taxes, two hundred fifty four dollars. In FICA taxes and two hundred twenty-five dollars in state taxes. That's what, like, seven hundred fifty dollars in taxes. Yeah. Um. The point is, fuck what's taxes. it called? Okay, here's the thing. Here's here's my big brain idea. Uh huh. Just if what like at least with Twitch, if I just spend all my Twitch money immediately on solemn vows, what are they gonna do? Ask you for a refund? No. They're gonna reclaim your uh, solemn vows. Civil, no. uh, civ uh, civil, as uh, civil asset forfeiture. No, they can't. They, my, I want y'all to know. Okay. We my know virtual this. bus will this. stay forever. We know this. I know this. We all know this. Okay. That yeah, money and time is a social fucking construct. Okay, because if everybody in America decided not to pay their taxes, what the fuck are they gonna do? Lock everybody up? No. No. And, I have, and they ain't even got the money to is, look us uh, find know. us all. We all know that today, today, like, there's no physical. Monday. What this was that? Easter, Cut out. Easter one. So, so there's no proof. There's no physical proof that today is a Sunday. Okay, we, we, know, but we, we know for a fact today is a Sunday. Exactly, because we have a social construct that tells us the days of the week. Yeah, but time isn't a social construct. Marcus, social okay. construct and just, like, things that we agree on are different. Yeah. I'm saying, yeah it's not the same I, I'm thing. Saying, I'm saying on the fact that socially we've constructed that today is a Sunday. I, I mean, I, I, is, is I, that is that incorrect? That we all have. Yeah, but that doesn't mean time is like time passes no matter no, what no, we're no, doing. No, that, that's saying, not I'm like not a social that's construct. That's, that's not. Like, that's not really a social construct. That's like we just need to agree not, that today is a day. Saying, I'm not saying that today is. A, I'm not saying that time is because a social construct. I'm saying that the days of a the, the days of the week are a social construct. I mean, well, for, not, for not, something to be like a social construct, it would have well, to exist no, in the well, no, society. No, no, Marcus, no, this because like we know we, universal. there's a certain amount of days in a year. How do we divide them? Well, like, it's, it's not a social I'm construct. Saying, it's just the basis of, like, how to organize shit to make sense. I'm saying, I'm saying that there's no proof that today is a Sunday. It could be a fucking Friday. We wouldn't know. What do you mean there's no what? proof it's a Sunday? There's no proof that it's a Sunday. Marcus, Marcus, <laughs> you're not gonna win this. Marcus, you're not, man. Marcus this is like the coast. Mar Marcus, paradox. what? You're do you think the man win. is lying to you about the? F no, no, guys, guys, no, guys. No. The government has been lying to us. It's actually Tuesday. Oh! <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying this. We all, we all know that there are seven days in a week. Okay, but who yeah. says? But that's Sunday. just a social construct. Who who is, like who's who's saying that month. Sunday can't be Thursday? Okay, Marcus. so moving Marcus, on. Marcus, how much meth have you been smoking? <laughs> be honest. Moving on to other dumb things. Um, so this is actually something that oh. I, I lost a lot of friends over back in uh, freshman year, and I want to know you guys' opinion on it. So what? there's this thing called the coastline paradox, and mm. I think it's 100% true. Um, but time to look it up. So I can understand it a bit more. All right, so yeah, basically the way it works is if you take any country, like say the United States, um, and you want to measure how much or how long the coastline is, you have to use a unit of measurement. And so if you use something like 100 miles 
and you just draw segments of 100 miles as close to the uh, edge of the country as you possibly can, you'll get one number. But if you go down to 50 miles, then that number will be bigger because it's more precise. And if and you can keep going down. Like, if you measure each individual foot around the country, <laughs> you'll get a number yeah, I, I much got, I got bigger. What you're yeah, I got what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. So... We that's could just, we could go smaller math. and smaller and smaller on subdivisions until every single coastline is infinite, and we could make every single country um, a fucking what's it called uh, finite uh, finite area infinite uh, the, a fractal. Every country is technically no, a fractal. I don't know about I, I don't know about that because the that's coastline, just math, dog. The coastline. Has All right, so I got one end, for me, one against infinite. me. I mean, that's just math. That's just facts. It's facts. I don't really care. <laughs> okay. Saying, yeah, what, what, the, what, the, fuck the, what yeah. the fuck does small testicle acapella of the TGC give a shit about the coastline paradox? I'm sorry. It's not I'm, saying, saying this, I'm saying this. I'm saying this. I'm saying that the coastline ends. Like, uh-huh. The coastline ends. So, technically, there can't be an infinite amount of numbers. M- M- Marcus, Bruh, Marcus, I just Marcus, 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 or Marcus, something Marcus, right now. we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta talk about this. Gotta, Our audience is literally recording. saying that you aren't fit to be a member of society while they're listening to this. <laughs> what I, what, Wait, what, what I'm saying here, what, 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 what I'm am. saying here is this. What okay. I'm saying here is this. All I'm saying is this. So you, you, in this paradox, you say that we can go sub, like, uh, make the units of measurement smaller and smaller and smaller to get a mm-hmm. bigger, bigger number. Yep. Right? And are you saying that we would infinitely do that and just it would just get smaller? Yeah, you can make it infinitely smaller and making yeah. Oh okay, yeah, we just under, everything. My fault. I just understood it wrong. I just understood it. Yeah, wrong. we can okay, make it. Yeah, okay, okay. Have, you, have y'all smaller. heard of Zeno's paradox? I have not. What is it? All right, all right, Marcus, Marcus, picture this specifically you, Marcus, right. picture this. Why? Because he's black. <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs> okay, <laughs> Marcus, picture this. Your dad has to go to the store to wow. buy the Oh, because he's black. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> 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 okay, picture this. And okay, so so I w- I'd like you to uh, see if you agree with me here. So to go to to the store to buy milk, first your dad has to go halfway to the store to buy milk. Right. Oh, I know this one. I hate this Correct. one. It's not real. Marcus, is this true? But to, to 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 go to the store, you first have to go halfway to the store. Correct. This is a fucking stupid question. Is it is it true? Do you have to go halfway to the I'm store? Thinking, I'm thinking like. Like, technically, it makes sense, but at the same time... No, 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 I, I haven't wrong. even gotten to the paradox part. You're big-braining yourself. Do you have to go halfway before for, before yes, you can get... to get to the store, you have to go halfway first. And then from that yeah. halfway point... Okay, so then from that halfway, you have to go halfway to that halfway. Halfway to that halfway. Halfway to that halfway. So therefore, movement shouldn't be possible, according to this one guy named Zeno. Uh, he then tried to prove this by jumping out of a window. What is he smoking? What does he have that I don't? Is he dead? Yes, is he, fucking, he, he fucking died. He fucking deserved it then. What a fucking yeah, Okay, but like well, okay, but so so okay, so the, the reason why this isn't actually a paradox is you can have an infinite number of things add up to one. Like you can have an infinite number of halves add up to a whole. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh how, oh but but like, think about think about it, Marcus. Like, you gotta go, you gotta keep going halfway each time. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean. You're just chunking it down in smaller pieces. Bro, we're just yeah. fucking Vsauce right now. No, right. we're just retarded. So, so hey guys, TGC here. <laughs> no, don't say, that shit. don't say that shit. Vsauce music. Bro, there's too many paradox out there. You hey guys, TGC here. Dead. How do you know it's actually Sunday? <laughs> it's a social construct. Marcus sauce. Marcus, when society builds something, Bro. I don't know. I didn't oh, read God, the book. But um, Ma- okay, no, no, no. Okay, we gotta talk about this, Connor. You last night at the JoJo event, you were literally saying that you felt like a chunk of your hair came out, and now you're losing more hair. Are you going bald? Are you okay, Connor? Fucking no. Is this a segue into Manscaped? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, this video is sponsored by Manscaped. We are not sponsored by anyone. No, if you want to give us like, money, hit us up. Our email is business gaming. No, I keep straightening out my com. hair, and then I just can find like clumps of my hair, but I think it's just dead hair like getting removed. But that's about it. No, it sounds it sounds to me like you're balding. 
It's not like your shit trim. Today. Is your father bald? Yeah, this this podcast is no. sponsored by Dollar Shave. Not, have you not seen my dad? I've not seen your father. Either. You have not seen. I feel like everyone here, except from like Galen and Ben, I've not seen, seen my father. Your dad. I have not seen your dad. I have not seen your dad. Nope. Can oh, we talk dad. about how much, like, like, can we talk about how like British people suck? Are just <laughs> British, British, <laughs> be terrible in it. The, okay, I want, I, you know, I want you. I want you guys to know that the only British person I tolerate is Connor. That's it. That's true. That's literally only it. One. All the only other Brits. Only one. You know. I, dude, since, since I've been fucking 12, I've always said that the Brits are just not. My my sister had like an obsession with the British people after Harry they're Potter. They're not a people. They're not, they're just, not a they're, people. They're, they're, they're just, they're just they're kind animals. of just there. All right. All right. I, uh, I know this isn't related at all to the podcast, but uh, Connor, I need you to look. Uh, I need you to look in memes right now. Oh my god. <sighs> I need you to look right now. I need your opinion. Which server? The gaming crew Discord. Okay. Which one? Just go to memes. I just posted it. Dollar shape. Is this not yeah. what Britain is like? Alright, so for no, anyone wondering, um, Connor it, 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 is reacting to a video Galen posted. Of spy from TF2 aggressively killing a uh, demo man from TF2. Like he's 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 he's, he's just shaking a black Scottish guy to death. <laughs> Impact font why, written why, why at the top, that... and that's it. And it's just some really intense what? doom music. Why did why did demo man being black have anything to do with yeah, it? Yeah, why did demo have <laughs> everything is about? He just he just, it, he just demo look, man. Look, that look, guy. look, color's not important. I hate everyone. Mm. Not on point. I don't love you. Oh, Wales is getting fucked too. Oh yeah, poor fu- like Wales. Wales just gets shit on. Mm. It's just there Good. are forty thousand knife offenses a year in England and Wales. <laughs> Good. Good. Scotland Good. forever. Good. Wales and I Britain rather, forever. I oh, rather wow. die Wait, by yeah. a bullet than something sharp and pointy. Shut up, mom. <laughs> Uh, around 6% of violent crimes involve a knife and 30% of murders. That's around 220 knife murders a year. That is out of a population of roughly 57 million. The U.S. has around 10,000 people murdered with guns every year and a further 20,000 dead from suit warfare. Just All right, okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'd rather go out in, like, an epic fucking shank fight than I would in a gunfight. Nah, that's gonna oh, look no. so lame. No. That's oh. so whack. Oh, you're kind of crazy. Murder rate boy, per bro. capita. Boy, bro. Shank, shank, shank. Like, the what? The murder no. rate per capita between them. Gunfight, gunfights uh, are like. Okay, here's, here's the thing. I just want to put, like, I, like, I have a knife upstairs. I just want to use it. Like, come on. I want to. I want to. Okay, so, so the murder rate per capita in America with guns is about eight times higher than the murder rate per capita in England with knives. Okay, what so, if we just, what if we just yeah, have the game every citizen of the U.S. Britain. Please. Okay, Clint. What? Okay, saying I think knife fights look cooler doesn't mean I don't think Clint Eastwood isn't cool, Gil. <laughs> well, well, Clint yeah, Eastwood's said... tough. Clint, Clint Eastwood. Like the okay, like really the really West is legitimately one of the coolest settings like ever. All like, I'm saying, all I'm saying is this: I rather go out guns blazing than me getting stabbed in my ass cheeks. That's facts. Well, what if you right? stab them in their ass cheeks that's first? That's gay. That's fine. That's which is okay. We accept gay. that. Please don't cancel. Which, which, which is fine. Okay, no, which is I'd rather fine. do hand to hand combat. I want to hear the bitch while I I'll strangle a motherfucker. Look, I've said. Um. Hand to hand combat's way cooler than any type of knife fight. No, bro. You just gotta. You just gotta go John Wick and grab a pencil. Well, what about sword fights? Those are cool. Sword, okay, sword fights are cool as shit. As someone who has played like Dark Souls and Four Honor and shit for fucking ever. Yeah, we've been to medieval sword. times. Those sword fights are cool. Shit. Sword oh yeah, if you okay, if you've never been to a medieval times, do it. That, I've like, never gone, and I'm so sad. Yeah, bro. Yo, we're gonna have to take a boys' day out and go to medieval times. I'm so serious. Bro, they give you like chicken. Okay, um, okay, uh, guys, one, guys, once once we're once we're, we're all people. vaccinated, once we're all vaccinated, we're all getting tickets to medieval times. Shot We're going as a group. Hey, gang, gang. But, um, but no, they give you like a drumstick and like a drum. Yeah, they just give you a giant thing. fucking turkey leg to eat. Yeah, uh, while well, you watch people fight and then you sit in a certain thing because yeah. and then you have like to you, you don't, everyone night. gets one night to root for. It. Yeah, but yep. like every night a different night wins, so it's not the same night winning all the time. It, it's already scripted, but it's cool as shit. The, it's scripted, it's like, but it's still like, you know, people with real swords fucking hitting each other. It's cool. Well, because it's like, it um, takes... 
What is it? Guys, isn't it like, big, isn't it guys, like... guys, guys, big Trunks is, is in the new Space Jam trailer. Cool. What the no. 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 They're putting big, big Chungus in fucking Space Jam. I think that oh, might it, kill the it. meme. I want to see it. I wanna send see it. it. Send it. But, no, I think it's for a Looney Tunes game. But like, bro, this podcast know. reads like an eighty-eight uh, person with ADHD trying to fucking <laughs> but, stay on top. ADHD. What the fuck you trying to say, huh? Yeah. This is. I'm trying to say something. Isn't the medieval times like story? It's like a fucking tournament or some shit. Yeah, it's a tournament. And, like, yeah, and then like one of them fucking wins, and they go against the king or some shit, or, and then like. No, no, no. They go against the like barbarian or some shit who shows up. I thought it was like like one of the top dog knights they fight. Fucking not they fight sure. a real knight. Okay, they okay. Fight, they they changed it apparently, but it used to be that like fucking foreign invaders come. And like hmm. the 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 ending thing was that the knight had to fight the foreign invader like mid like like it would start off as just the tournament. I, yeah, I don't remember medieval times. I think it means all I remember is the drumstick and then like the. Yeah, because fucking... no, like they changed it. They changed it. I don't know when. Like at way after. Let me. Huh. What is the medieval time? They changed it like before COVID, but it was it, it was like yeah, like oh, big scary guy shows up, and then the knight that wins has to fight him, and then he always wins because of course he. I wins. sent it in memes. Holy shit, it's Big Chunkus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and just now put in the clip uh, for the video. Oh uh, my god. I gotta go, I gotta go find the fucking Space Jam video. Again. There's a, there's a review on December 18th, 20, uh, 2017, December 28th, 2017, that says the new show was a huge disappointment. Um, so there's a new story, apparently. Very poor story writing and nothing in the new story keeps you enticed and on edge. Wow. What a letdown. Who the heck thought this was a good idea? My five and seven year olds were crying at the end of this show <laughs> saying, Mommy, we were the bad guys. Oh my god. Oh I say god. I say keep it. I, if it makes children cry, like you're on the right track. Yes. What? Oh, Wait, okay, what's okay, okay, okay. Here's the old show. Here's the old show. The old show consists of a threat, a dark knight. Yeah, the, the knight like the dark evil knight. knight just shows up. Yeah, and the goal was eventually to eliminate him. Once the victory knight rises to the competition, challenges such with a new storyline, a queen is now taking the throne, and to that, I was just wondering if it's going to be messed up politically correct, and sadly it was. Mind you, I'm a female writing this story. I'm sick and tired of being shoved down our throats, and yes, the storyline went there. This is where the storyline brings all of your excitement crashing down and leaves you utterly disappointed, empty, and cheated. Why are you writing this like it's a Oh my Same, god! Like, like, hold on, okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, I need to, I need to respond to this. So, Gil pinged me and said, "Do you really want to hear children crying whenever the villain shows up? If the villain can't make children cry, they're He's not a, a good villain. villain. He's not a villain. He's not a villain. He's like villain." Like, okay, and also, like, he's saying, oh, like, oh, you don't, like, you don't want to hear the children cry? We were literally watching that clip of the Russian kid crying over the fucking chess <laughs> world champion coming in, like, ten minutes before this. And we were laughing our asses off. Yeah, Wait, funny. apparently they if... insult the queen on the throne. God bless, as you fucking should. God, God bless. She's a fucking bitch. That's the only thing keeping half these suicide motherfuckers alive right now. Oh, the apparently the sheer knight he's been will cheering on all along is actually the bad guy of the story. He now has to be eliminated by the remaining good guy knight to restore peace and honor to the, the king. White, the white knight has to protect his queen. <laughs> <laughs> But no, but yeah, that's not how they get to like fight the like black man and then like, they kill the <laughs> Medieval black times, man. more like Reddit times. That's what I'm saying, this isn't medieval, this is Reddit. Oh. <laughs> and the, and the medieval right. times responded. Did they? What yes, did they say? Thank you for sharing your thorough review with us. We strive to provide top quality entertainment with exceptional service to our guests and take all feedback into consideration. And if you'd like to speak further about your visit, please reach out to us. It was in Chicago. Fuck Chicago. Oh, Marcus uh, is dead. Fuck Chicago. Oh, did he go play a game with his uh, brother? Yeah, I think so. Probably. He's got to go participate in a league tournament. What a loser. Ugh. Uh, just so it's clear, everybody here but Marcus hates league, so. O'Connor doesn't oh, need it. Oh, you know how they had kings before? Apparently they replaced them with queens, which isn't too bad, but like... Yeah, I mean, who cares? Well, it's not even also... bad at all. But I want to see people fight with swords. What was that show where it was... Just I just want to like see armor? people hit... What was, what was that um, show where it was like people in armor just whacking... Yo, did y'all ever watch yeah, the jousting yeah. reality TV show? 
No, no. what was that? What? Bro, I saw, compet I saw jousting for real though. Competitive, it was like a like I forget, mom. What was the name of the jousting show? The jousting you know reality jousting. show you watched. You know that jousting is Maryland's uh, state. It is like, yeah. state sport. State sport. Yeah. What is it? Oh, yeah. Jousting. Jousting. Oh, I'm so what sad. I'm gonna be at college it's next year. It's the highest year. rated yeah, sport in fucking Maryland. No, it's state. Maryland State Sport. That's that's oh. this state. Well, because Bro, we have yeah. we have the Ren Fair though. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. Red, Maryland Ren Fair, baby. And then um. Uh, Full Metal Jousting! That was it! Full Metal Jousting. <laughs> Bro, yeah. like, like, okay, serious, seriously though, we need to all watch Full Metal Jousting together sometime. That shit is cool as hell. Someone, like, uh, breaks I their arm. I looked it up, and it, yeah. it is a reality show. Yeah, it's a reality TV. It's like it's it's the same kind of like whack ass shit you saw when people thought of Kid Nation. Like it's like yes, we're just gonna have people violently <laughs> fucking joust on uh, on uh, for live entertainment. I mean, funny movie with the Joker. The no, Joker, but, baby. Uh, Night Fight was such a good show. Where Night Fight is a good show. Yeah, I remember yeah, that one yeah, episode. The guy just took the Oh, it's even a good show. Do y'all remember How It's Made? Yeah. How It's Made was, How it's made was How the it's shit. Made is fucking if you weren't if you weren't a child in the if you were a child in the two thousands who didn't watch How It's Made and Mythbusters every week, I don't want to talk to you. Talking talking about the what was that cartoon network show? Like build destroy and build or whatever? Where they would like fucking build destroy, build shit. destroy. Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah, except they always, build. except they always made like garbage. <laughs> yeah, it was terrible. Yeah, but I still watched it. But the host was the intriguing. Whole point, the whole point is to build something and then destroy it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it, it satisfies your inner like teardown enthusiast. Yeah, but like, it was a great show. A good show for a child to watch. You're like, damn. Bro, Cartoon Network is bringing really back show. live action shows. Like it's what? True. Oh. Yeah, wait, what? They didn't say what shit? yet, they just said they're bringing it back. Oh. They should bring back Destroy, Build, Destroy. Wait, was Hole in the Wall Cartoon Network too? Yo, uh, Hole in the Wall, look, yo. look all, I'm, all I'm saying is if, like, TTC ever had to compete in a real, like, TV show, it has to be Hole in the Wall. <laughs> God, that would be awful. Yeah, it has to be. We're, like, the least athletic, least human Yes, we are the ever. Yes, okay, Talking about kid shows, talking about kid shows, what was that one fucking show with the, like, tiles on the floor, and they would step on them so out of line, and you would look at it as a child and be like, these guys are so fucking stupid. The oh, fucking, oh, um, um, you know what I'm talking about, right? The one yeah. where they had the tiles on the floor and they had to memorize it and walk across it, but then they would step one right to the like left, but you're like, just walk straight. It's legit a straight line. Why are you stepping on Oh, I line? know the show you're talking about. I forget what the name was. <laughs> like, yeah, um... there's a video of a guy messing up so bad, and when I was a kid, that shit made me fucking hurt okay. inside because I was like, if I went on that show, if I was on that show, I would have like three thousand IQ just walking across that thing. Like, come on now, bro. Like, I'm a kid and I can memorize the entire All right. thing. Okay, here's here's my thing. What if TZC had to compete in Wipeout? Who wins? I'd fucking win. Yeah, Marcus yeah. would definitely win. Marcus would win. Well, not shit. even gonna debate it. I might I might come in second, but that's all right, not Marcus. It. But what if we what if we sick the chess world champion of Russia on you? Will you Ooh. cry? Oh yeah, who man, in, who in TGC is the best the at uh, chess? Probably. You, you fucking Probably smurf you in man. chess! Oh, oh shit! Who smurfed I'm... in chess? You smurfed on chess.com! I, I just not really that? a smurf, it's just my first account, which I made No, no, you, you literally said you smurfed on chess.com! So, it's technically a smurf, but it was the first account I made, and I didn't know how to play chess, and so I learned on that one, but I made a new one. And on that one, I'm at like 800, 850. So not even any good. Just better what, like than eight, my Like, ranked like 850 out of what? Like, in the country? or like No, so chess.com uh, ranks you point-wise. And so, uh, ah. like, 20, uh, 2,000 is around Grandmaster. Face it, but chess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so basically, 2,000 is face it 10. That's where you see all the pros. Um, and I'm... I guess that makes me in the bottom third. Mm. Um, 
like middle so to bottom. So if you get to like one thousand, you're like halfway to pro league chess. Yeah, but the the difference between like a one hundred rated player and a one thousand player is insane. Yeah, because they know how to like fucking use the queen tank to like move the queen Brain into sorry. queen position. What the queen? Like, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. okay. That's re okay. The only thing you actually I saw, I saw, I saw a video about it, and Ben talked about it like once. But all I'm saying is, one day we got to get TGC to play like 5D multi-dimensional chess with time travel. Oh my god, chess. that's what is so that? incredibly difficult. Okay, okay, play. okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send the video of it in fucking. Send the Hikaru yeah. video. He, he's so he's one of the best chess we'll players. We'll watch it world. after, but like, shut yeah, up, okay. boat man. Yeah, Who's shut up, boat, boat man. man. Kill. Kill. Oh, but um, five D chess. I found the show. Five D five D chess oh, TPC tournament for next sub yeah, goal. Brain surge. Brain surge. That's what it was. The fucking Nickelodeon. Yeah. Game. Oh yeah. Nickelodeon game show brain surge. Oh my god. I remember watching that. I was like, man, I want to go on that show so yeah, bad. Yeah, I was like, if I went on that show, remember? Y'all remember Kick Matowski? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Kick. Of course. Kick. Kick remember Patel. people getting slimed, but not Kick, I remember them. watching Kick Do they Patel, slime people still? Phineas and Ferb. Remember when the creator of iCarly had a foot fetish? Dan Schneider! Dan Schneider! Dan Schneider's foot like, fetish. He worked on iCarly, Victorious, and like all those other shows, but then I actually enjoyed like Victorious and fucking iCarly. The shit went hard. Um, also, Robbie had that weird fucking doll with him the entire time. I actually remember watching fucking Lazy Town. I yeah, like, no, Yo! I remember Lazy Town. Lazy Town was the oh. shit. Yo, Teletubbies, cute or creepy? Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. I have to leave. I have to leave. I have to leave. All right, bye, Marcus. But I want to get my one cents in. I'm doing a class tournament. Yeah, yeah, for these guys. But I want to get my one cents in. Mm -hmm. If we're talking about childhood shows, free app before season one through five, Thomas the Tank Engine is the greatest childhood show of all time. Did Thomas the Tank Engine is a Machiavellian fucking nightmare. Wait, no, is it Thomas the Tank Engine. No, 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 We can't, no, no, no. The Fat, the fat Controller is a dictator. Y'all remember the episode where they lock that one fucking, like, Tank Engine in the tunnel and they brick him in Henry, and put up all of his Henry friends and force him to leave. watch in jail for, like, months as his friends drive by him? That shit was evil, it's bro. It's because Henry wanted to be a bitch and didn't want to get his fucking paint wet in the rain, so, to, so he didn't want to leave the tunnel. You have trains to run. So what? That means run. public humiliation and bricking in in front of all <laughs> your friends is not even okay. He wants to be a bitch-made boy. Yes. God, there wasn't this much arguing when Marcus okay, said that okay, okay. Sunday wasn't I'm out. real. I'm out. I'm out. Or, or what about what about the fucking um or what about all the fucking like train crashes on Thomas the Tank Engine? Like they fucking died every other episode. That happens yeah, I... because niggas don't know how to ride the rails. Or 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 what about the <laughs> fact that like the trains never die? Like even when they're in the rusting fucking junkyard, they're just alive forever. No, no, what, they die. Right? I'm not, I don't have enough time to explain to you why Thomas Tank Engine has given me a lot of values and life Tom, lessons. Thomas the Tank Engine is a fucking life. nightmare, bro. It is one of the greatest childhood shows of all time. That is my final piece. No, like, I, can't, I, no I, don't, I can't get over this. Thomas the Tank Engine, like, when you watch it as an adult, that shit is creepy. Uh, isn't there, like, the, isn't, like, the wiki fucked up? For... Like, the wiki literally talks about all the fucked up shit. Yo, Phineas and Ferb? That shit slaps even now. I was re-watching some of it. Oh my god. S-tier show. Easily. Wait, didn't didn't the bitch from, like, fucking Lazy Town become, like, a drug addict? Like, one of them? Because I know uh, Stephanie from Lazy Town became one of them, like, became a drug addict or some shit. I don't remember, but I read it somewhere. Like, one of, like, the persons who played Stephanie kind of became a drug addict. I am not sure. That's what I have heard. I mean, maybe. Like, hold up. You know how child actors be. Yeah, they get really, like, messed up. They get really fucked up. Uh, look at, uh, what's his name? Macaulay Culkin. Yeah. Wait, didn't one of the people from iCarly do porn? Or is that just a fever dream I had? Probably a fever dream. Probably a but fever one of them. One of them did date a basketball player. Sam from my color did date a basketball player for. Not was he a basketball player? He dated someone like. 
he dated so she dated someone for like four days and then i believe he was a basketball player i'm not sure but it was like four days and she he or she was like she was like a minuscule compared to his size i mean yeah okay okay i fucking found i fucking found it okay the scrap yards are where engines and other machinery are sent to when their working lives are finished in order to be cut up and melted down. <laughs> so in Thomas the Tank Engine, there is a literal, like, picture of the fucking scrap yard where they're melting down these old dead fucking locomotives. Bro, that's traumatic. Like, the, uh, the scene from <sighs> episode 6 of Star Wars where they're torturing the droids in Jabba's palace. Man, that shit okay, fucked me up. That, that makes me laugh, though. That fucked that me up when I watched it. Oh yeah, it's okay. Okay. okay, look at BC Tech chat. Look at this train crash. Like, they, they put this shit in, like, every fucking t Thomas the Tank Engine episode. Circle of life, bro. <laughs> look. Okay, look at, look at this picture. Look at this picture. This is in the book. This is in the book. Jesus Oh my Christ. god, that's dark. They're melting him down, bro. Was Thomas the Tank Engine an allegory for the Holocaust? Question mark? I don't know about the Holocaust, but Thomas the Tank Engine was fucking weird, bro. I never watched Thomas the Tank Engine as a child. I did. But I also watched, uh... It was an on in British... Also, movie. what kind of person is called the Fat Controller? What? <laughs> He's not even that fat! What was the show would wake up... Or... I remember, like, so many shows from my childhood. Like, fucking Age Special Agent Oso and, like, fucking... Special Agent Oxide. Yeah, it was about with this fat bear. Special was, like, Agent Joe Mama. But he was like a fat bear that was like a spy. All right, all right, straight up. If any of you can fucking tell me the fat controller's real name, I'll pay you five dollars. Tim, without looking it up. Joe, I'm not looking it up. I'm looking at Special Agent O. Tom, no, that's the name of the tank engine. Um, Jake, Jeremy. Nah, it. it Ludacris. Get this. Sir so Stephen Topham Hat thir the third. <laughs> Topham Hat. I remember the Topham Hat part. Handy Manny. Uh, Handy Manny. Oh, that was a good one. Okay, but like, also once again, once again, look at this and tell me this doesn't like fucking reek like fucking uh, Russian propaganda or some fucking shit. Look at this. Look at this. Look, everyone's happy in Sodor, <laughs> but everything's a fucking nightmare world. <laughs> I I can't get over this. Oh, like, so the train's faces look terrifying. I hate okay, it. Okay, okay. No, you want terrifying? You remember JJ the jet plane? Uh, yeah. no. No, I don't. Okay, I want you to look at this, Connor. I want you to look nice and long and hard at fucking JJ the jet plane. I'm fucking. I'm posting it again. Show. This is this is this is JJ the jet plane, Connor. I remember JJ. Oh, yeah. that guy, yeah. <laughs> Fucking yeah. JJ the jet plane is the worst. That looks like yeah. some terrible SFM is abomination. That, yeah, it does. I can make better at SFM. Is I that, can make a better that, JJ the jet from, plane. Is that from fucking Thomas the Tank Engine? No, it was like a different spinoff. Okay. Yo, why the fuck did they make planes in the Cars universe? Can we talk about how they weird did. the Cars universe is? It's... Wait. Odd. What about the fact that all of the old cars are like fucking Nazis or something? Yeah, shit? like what there is <laughs> canonically there's what? Jesus car and there's the Jesus yeah. car. And there's and Holocaust. World War II in... happened. Yeah. Like yeah, World War what? II definitely happened in the cars universe, but like Does that mean there's car there. Hitler? Yes, yeah, what car is. would Hitler be? Oh, that's a good question. What car would Hitler would ab Hitler would absolutely be a Ford Pinto. <laughs> I it think I, I think it'd be a uh, either a Volkswagen or it'd, it'd be a Volkswagen yeah. Beetle, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, but like, what's the there cars? cars Nine Eleven. That means. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, oh, wait, that's worse though, because if you think about it, since all the planes are sentient too, that means the planes like <laughs> fucking died at Nine Eleven. Wait, if there was uh, cars World War Two and there are planes in the Cars universe, does that mean there were kamikaze planes? <gasps> yes. And then the yeah. Manhattan Project was probably a real thing. 
Bro, does that mean that the, 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 the fucking the nuclear bomb was sentient in the Cars universe and knew no, his no, purpose nothing, was to destroy? I don't, think, I don't think that stuff is sentient, but like the motor vehicles are sentient. So that means cars were crafting the Manhattan, like the <laughs> atom bomb. So that means there's a car Einstein and fucking... Car Margaret Thatcher. I believe there is a car. On I, I like how we were like, "Oh, let's make the we'll, we'll, we'll make the funny part," and then we still this just turned into us talking about the dark implications of our childhood. Oh my god! <laughs> well, we figured out the name and probably name and fucking topic of the video or the podcast. What what name the video? Thomas the Tank Engine is not like how you remember. <laughs> <laughs> we will ruin Thomas the Tank. Engine. I was gonna go with Cars Holocaust. No. No. You can't. You can't just. You can't just, you can't just name your fucking vi video with the car's holocaust. <laughs> Why not? Did that. Someone probably already made a video about it. Great. Then Explain we'll have great SEO. Video. Alternate history. Wait. Is God a car too? If there's yeah. Jesus car, then there may or may not be God. Well, what? Car. What? What is like the God car? A hot rod? That would be funny. Uh, That'd be funny. Probably like a SUV. An electric Hummer, <laughs> what the god car is. Okay. Oh, oh, actually, you know, I have something to talk about. Mario Kart is uh -huh. racist. Uh, okay. Um, Explain. No, no, no. You all, you, I've, I've given my explanation before. Shy guys are a second class of citizens in the Mario Kart universe. Yeah, that's because they are. Uh -huh. uh, I, I did that. I went over like every fucking Mario Kart 8 track. Shy guys literally never appear alongside other uh, fucking uh, people in the fucking uh, Mario Kart game. Except in transit hubs. And every single time shy guys are shown, they're shown doing manual labor. Okay. I mean, because isn't that what they're. That's, what? that's literally their purpose, though, right? Yeah. What are you? Are you? What, are you saying it's okay that this racist? You fucking no, racist. But like, I thought that was like what they were supposed to do. I thought they were like servants to the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoever said that? <laughs> like they work under Princess Peach. That's what? Like, when was this ever fucking stated? Go to the Mario Kart wiki. We're no. looking this up. Oh, I'm going. I'm looking up Shy Guys right now. I thought Shy Guys were like. Not like I thought they were just working under like Princess Peach. No, what the fuck are you smoking? I don't remember. I don't know. Okay, you know, okay. Get paid minimum wage. <laughs> uh, shy, shy guys <laughs> are common enemies in the Mario hours. franchise. Um, shy guys. Uh, were, were they the bad guys? I don't remember. I don't play Mario. I played Legend of Zelda more. Okay, in the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, Shy Guys appear as antagonists working for Bowser. Okay, so they're antagonists. So they're okay. prisoners of war in this scenario? <laughs> they're fucking... They're, the the Shy Guys that Peach won. captures are forced to work in the mines. In the Gulag? Okay, oh my I god. Thought they were, I thought they were good guys, because I never pay attention to Mario. Just, like, stomping. Oh, wait, like, also, yeah, in Paper Mario, they're, like, fucking, like, tribal people. And, like, fucking, with, like, spears. Didn't and... someone kill themselves in the Paper Mario game? Like they they blew themselves I up. don't know, it's been so long. I wanna no, play the new paper. The recent Mario. Game. Some like shy guy blew himself up. What? what? Yeah. Alright, I'm buying the new Paper Mario today then. <laughs> hey, y'all ever watch uh Tom Oh yeah, and the, the shy guys have a fucking military in the fucking Paper Mario games too. Like they have tanks and shit. And general shy guy. Yeah, they're, they're, it's their liberation movement. Category deceased characters in Mario Wiki. Deceased characters deceased. Mario oh Wiki? Oh my god, that's so dark. <laughs> Rosalina's mother. <laughs> oh yeah, that's like canon. Oh, apparently Galeem is dead. Oh yeah, Fawful fucking died. Oh, Wrinkly Kong's canonically dead. Oh yeah, Wrinkly Kong is like a fucking ghost. My aunt just told me to be careful cooking drugs. <laughs> what? You're, You're such a supportive family. Well, oh, not... yeah, and, like, the fucking husband of Zesty from the fucking Paper Mario games is dead, too. Oh, what, is a... what is oh, false oh, Mr. Oh, Game & Watch? Oh, it was a bomb mom that killed himself for Mario. 
A bob bomb kills himself for Mario? His name was Bobby. Oh, our, our Mario just said this podcast is like the mani- uh, manic ravings of a schizophrenic patient slowly descending into a death spiral. <laughs> Look, you don't understand, man. Everything Mario, that title's trouble. not as catchy as the poop show or whatever we came up with. What's this the thing? Poop deck. Deck. The poop the deck. Poop deck. A whole backstory it's for him, the poop and then deck. he just blows himself up. <laughs> anyway, yeah. At this point, you know what? Fuck it. This is the TGC conspiracy podcast. Everyone, get your tinfoil hats. We got to talk about how Mario is racist, <laughs> and Did how Thomas Hat is actually an allegory for fascism. Holy shit! He fucking killed himself. I'm sending this YouTube video. In. <laughs> <laughs> you are chumping topics back to back, one to one, no rhyme or I'm gonna reason. Google is Mario dead. <laughs> is See Mario what I get. <laughs> it just says no when I Google. No. <laughs> when are we adding Matt Pat to the TGC? Never. We still we Yo, stayed that on annoys a topic me when for people like say the minutes, TGC. We've been also, also, so yes, much. Mario. What do you think? It's us. We can't stay on a constant topic. But we've been we on a are constant family topic. guy. I am funny, PD Griffin. Bader. We, we Bader suck my balls. Topic right now, we're talking about Big childhood Bader. stuff. Yeah, we've been talking about like childhood TV shows for like thirty minutes, and at least. Childhood games. That one gamer has yes. his yes. mega the group. Is. Yes, he is. I don't care if I'm peeking the mic. Me peeking the mic is part of my part oh, of my. You guys, uh, you guys remember having part of my charm. DS and then Mario fucking telling you like goodbye when you close the DS. I think that was intentional game design to get you. Bro, in that got me child. caught as a child when I was staying up. It's like Jack. Yo, like, like I would the say most universal version. experience ever. Pretending to like, be asleep and playing on your DS. Well, yeah, I would, pl- I would play Mario Kart on my DS, like, late yeah, at night. Yeah, but then it would, like, bye-bye. And then yeah, it would like, say bye-bye when I closed it. So I closed it, and then my mom would hear the bye-bye, and then give- and then know that I was actually up playing Mario Kart. Nah, you real G's stuck it under your pillow, so the sound was muffled. Yeah. That- I-, I told Galen to throw it across the room. <laughs> you did. did you? Nah, Marcus no. is fucking Meg today. We. Like oh yeah, that fucking that, that reminds me, Luke. Do you remember me playing fucking Mario Kart on the video productions field trip on the bus? Yeah, <laughs> I remember. I brought my oh, you DS. Your DS and just I like, did. I brought my original 3DS and was just playing Mario Kart. I mean, who wouldn't? It's the gamer move, isn't it? I didn't have I a. Had, I didn't I, have. A, I didn't have a Switch yet, so I used to play Pokemon and like. I Mario, had a 2DS and Mario Kart DS. in like class. I had the DS Lite. The Dude, grandma 2DS is so the, weird. Uh, our grandma found the DS at a uh, pediatrician's lost and found bin and just fucking stole it from me. <laughs> I, had, I had a red DS Lite, but the yo the, uh, okay, you're, you're, not a, you're, not a, you're not a you're not a real you're not a real gamer unless you own the Game Boy. I have a I Game do. Boy Advance. I have a Game Boy have Color. A Game Boy Advance, but I can't find Game Boy, it. Game Boy Color gang, rise up. Yay. I, I also also bought a Game Boy SP one time, and I lost it, too. Uh, yeah, what? I bought a Game Boy Advance SP. Yeah, SPs were, like, way cooler. But, like, I like also the Game Boy Advance like, like, I want, I might buy a modded version of the Game Boy uh, Advance where there's no, like, um, my brother got solar oh my God. light. Okay, that reminds, that reminds me. I saw a thing, and I really wanted it. There's a guy who makes fucking uh, Wii, U por- Wii portables. Mm-hmm. Like, Wii, Wii games, but, like, on, in, like, fucking, like, GBA form, basically. It's called the Wii U. No, not the fucking Wii U. <laughs> Um. Oh, oh, like okay, like I need, the, but he, I think he called it the Wee Boy color or some shit. But the problem is they cost like a thousand dollars. God damn. Jesus. But yeah, no, there's people can mod the Game Boy to where there's a backlight for it, so you don't have to be in the sun playing it. Because if you remember playing like, the Game like, Boy, you don't, you don't know, you don't know true pain if you hadn't brought the Game Boy color with you on a car trip, and then you realize you the sun is better at all. Yeah, no, no, but then you realize the sun is setting, and you know you have a timer before it's completely unplayable. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 and you didn't have the light because you didn't realize you were supposed to get that, so you're like, down. And plus, having the light was just like a mini lamp, and it was the weirdest thing to have on your Game Boy when it was like, 
pitch black outside in like a car trip and you just have like this light over your Game Boy playing like Pokemon. Like you just you just gotta grab your phone flashlight and put it on your fucking Game Boy while you're like playing it. My just favorite Pokemon. game to play on my Game Boy was actually there's two. Dig Dug. Dig Yo, Dug. It, Dig was, Dug. Like, it was like it was like a Namco collection. Okay, okay, best arcade game. And then and then Mario Super Mario World Two. The well, Mario World games were the ones that first introduced Daisy. Are you talking about like you just said best arcade game, but are you talking about like arcade cabinets? Yeah, like best arcade game. Oh, oh Donkey shit. Kong Easy. No, it's Galaga, bro. It has to be Galaga. I played Ghosts and Goblins on an arcade. Ghosts game. and Goblins, yo. yo, that's the shit. What was I playing Ghosts and Goblins on? I was playing it on my uh, NES. Yeah, NES. That was an NES. Yeah, my mom used to play the <laughs> shit out of that game. Ghosts and Goblins was fun. It was a really nice platformer. It's hard though, but it's still really fun. Yeah, Ghosts and Goblins was a great fucking time. <laughs> Never yeah, beat it. Arcade game is either Pac-Man or Mortal Kombat. Oh, oh Dragon's Lair. Lair. Dragon's Lair is the I've shit. I've never seen a Dragon's Lair arcade machine in a while. Oh, I got to play one when I went to MAGFest. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. I, w- I want to go back to a MAGFest because I know they're around here. Okay. Oh, no, they are. They're at the Gaylord. Yeah, they are. Um, also, that... I've been to also, I just, I just I love that, like, I just love the main Gaylord. convention hall for the for the Baltimore Harbor is just the Gaylord Hotel. <laughs> but, um, but I actually, I, oh, and they have Comic-Con near us, too, which is always cool to go to. But, um, um like, well, another, another, uh, that's, that's another thing when COVID's over, we all gotta go to, like, a MAGFest or some shit together and just, like, play games till we fucking pass out. MAGFest. Also, MAGFest. It's the music I, and gaming festival. I went the day after oh. Game Grump showed up to MAGFest, which was, like, I could have seen Game Grumps there, but I oh. didn't. Uh, but it was like, I remember when I went there, they set it up so that, like, on the main exhibition hall where you could just, where they just had all the different games consoles and games set up. Oh, yeah, no, when uh, I went to MAGFest, on, like, a big projector screen, they were playing Wii Smash Bros, and I remember that so vividly, because I walked in there, and I was like, this is, like, a um, dream come true to me. No, well, I remember, well, the one I went to, they had a gigantic projection on one of the walls of, uh, the original Pokemon Yellow. And uh, I didn't realize until, like, two days into the convention that there was actually, like, buttons, like, laid out across the entire showroom floor. So you legit had, you had to get, like, six people to play the game. Oh, that's Uh, really cool. That's cool. Um, Yeah, so you, um, so, like, one person had to, one person had to take, like. What? Where'd he go? Oh. Where'd he go? What happened? What the fuck happened? Oh, fucking it. I accidentally joined our, our fucking... I accidentally joined back into the Iron Thrones. Peace. <laughs> well, thing. uh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, and what was like? So, the way, it, the way it was set up was, like, you legit had to have, like, like, a, like, you had to be in a call with, like, five of your friends. And each one of you had to take a button, and you'd be, like... It took, like, two minutes to walk from each button. Uh, and I remember by the end of MAGFest, they had beaten the entire game. Oh, that's really cool. That's a nice achievement. There was there was also a group of people who speed ran every single Metroid game during the Magfest time. When did you go to Magfest? Uh, I don't remember what year it was specifically. Yeah, me. Uh, I think I, I do have a bunch of like I've seen Stan Lee before. I know but that I mean, much. like I play I played the arcade games. I played the pinballs. I I actually I actually barely went to any panels. Like ninety percent of it. Like I was at the age where like I didn't give a shit about ninety yeah, percent of yeah, stuff. No. I just you're wanted just really to play like, the games. You're just like cool games. Whoa. Now, now that I'm older, I absolutely would have been. I w- I'm way more into like, the, and I didn't go to any of the concerts or anything because I was just there for the games. Yeah. But, now, uh, nowadays, I probably would go to the concerts. I did see Stanley at one point. Not like met him, but I just saw him like moving, and I was like, Yo, Whoa. I remember when Stanley died. Uh, like literally the day before, I was talking with my friends about how how, how his days were numbered, and then he died like the next day. Galen, yeah, what did you do? You killed death. Stanley. But um, killed but I Stan saw Lee. him, and then it kind of made me realize that fucking people are human, and I'm like, damn, this is crazy. Damn. Um, like, this I met the, I like, well, I didn't like get right in their face or anything, but I saw the MythBusters in real life. Oh, nice. Yeah, I uh, no, I like went the to their live show, and that was really cool. Um, 
few of my friends went to the um the the, the, the what what did they do it was like brain something uh, oh what was, adam savage um, Vsauce, and Vsauce? and adam savage yeah can they change all the people though like in mythbusters hey y'all remember the fact that fucking uncle uncle dane is like the one of the cameramen for idubs what yeah I did yes. Not know Uncle that. Dane is a. Yeah. If you watch the. Full if you watch Force the full Force documentary, Dane, Uncle Dane is sitting in the see car. Seat. Uncle Dane in the car with Idubs. That's amazing. And his, call, and his and his name is Dane. So. Yo, his I'm name Dane. is actually Dane. Yeah. Yo. Um. Is he an uncle? I don't know. Probably. Who knows? He probably doesn't have kids himself. I don't know. My crowning achievement was fucking Array Seven reading my uh reading my uh my like oh thanks for being you on stream and saying uh, and complimenting my pop in a, when I played in a game with him. That was it. <laughs> my crowning achievement is being in Pay Money Webby's twenty four hour stream and you can see me in the video I and I got to have a nice little chat with him. Hey, one, hey guys! One one game day game. we'll have like you know four people watching us. That'll be pretty epic. That'll be really cool. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll be someone else's crowning achievement. Yeah, we'll, sure. Oh, that'd uh, be cool. One one day, one day like we'll be like, whoa! We got to, I got to talk to the real small testicle acapella. <laughs> right, right. God, I got to talk to. If the... we ever get famous, Chris is gonna be a fucking legend. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna be like, I was there before they were cool. Yeah. Um, we get we get we get su we get super popular, and then it's like, oh my god, I can't believe that like, <laughs> I can't believe those that Kate and Chris guys uh uh played with them during a Mogus in a video. Wow. <laughs> if I, if I would, played Among Us I would get famous just so we can get Chris laid. <laughs> just so he yeah. can be like, yeah, I'm that cool. I think we should get. Oh, Gil said he met a small YouTuber. At a oh yeah, Gil, was that the one YouTuber that you were that you liked at um Balticon? Dude, Baltimore Comic Con's like really nice to go to though sometimes. Yeah, as long as you don't. Like, get yeah, I, I, I was I was there with Gil. I'd never heard of the guy, but Gil got like a signature. I think. Who was it? Terrible writing advice. Oh. Uh, my dad's met Metallica. <laughs> I met Dude, um I met Lockpicking Lawyer. Concert. Bro, d bro, did I did I ever tell you all that like my best one of my best D and D characters ever I made at fucking Balticon? No. Nice. Who was it? Bro Brother Soapy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What was he? Uh, he he was a rogue, but he but uh for some reason he was an incredibly religious um, an incredibly religious like, uh, follower of Mister Clean. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, no, straight up, straight up, like, uh, my, his, his character arc was, like, trying to get Vorpal Enchanted Soap. And, like, <laughs> like, I, I played, I played him at two different Balticons, and, and I made it, like, it, it, like, there was, there's so much shit with him. Uh, like, uh, he got soap golems that looked like Mr. Clean. Okay. <laughs> um... He, uh, Mr. Clean actually, like, manifested once and gave him, like, a magic eraser. <laughs> okay. Um, and, uh, what's, what's it fucking called? Uh, he managed to convince people that he had, like, healed the king with the power of Mr. Clean, and he, like, he, like, stole an empty church and turned it into, like, the, the, the <laughs> Mr. Clean church. He stole a church? He just stole a church. He, like, just found an empty church and was like, it's mine now. <laughs> Alright, well, I mean, what else are you going to do? Um, <laughs> what else? But yeah, he, he was also incredibly fucking stupid. Dude, I love it. I can, I can go into detail about my fucking bad stories in Japan, because they're just too wild for no reason. And one time he met the Yakuza. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yakuza... Uh, they were like beating some dude up on the street, and then he's about to like, cause he's in the military, so he's like lawful good. So he goes up, and he's about to like tell the yakuza off, and then the, everyone else around him is like, oh shit. So they go up, he goes up to him, but he doesn't even go up to him. Some random Japanese dude like grabs him, and he's like, no, don't, don't, just turn away, just don't look at him. 
this douche is getting robbed of all his money because he didn't pay his like, debt to a Oh my god. Me when Yak is a zero in real life. <laughs> He's like, Com like uh, Kazuma Kiryu uh, was right there. Dumb man, man. Dumb man. This guy was just like, look at the tattoos. Don't like fucking fuck with them. And he's like, all right. <laughs> he met like a wrestler too. It was pretty cool. I met Joe Mama once. Yeah. I love Metallica. I'm both in the it, world it, it was either Metallica or Megadeth, but he met him in a bar. Meeting Metallica at a bar sounds sweet as hell. It's either Megadeth or like Metallica. But it was one either of those two, would be cool met... to meet in a bar. Yeah, but he met him at a bar and he told him to sign a yen coin, but they're all like drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he has a signed yen coin somewhere. It's out in existence with one of their signatures on it. And it's gone now because my dad doesn't know where it is and my grandma doesn't know where it is. So there's like an existence. How, how long have you been recording? Uh, we're over an hour and 15. But, mm. but, we but in probably, existence, we can wrap up there's soon. a. Yeah, but there is an in existence. An hour 30. If, everyone, if anyone can find it in existence, there is a fucking coin from like the 1990s and a yen coin from the 1990s. With a signature from either Metallica or Megadeth on it. If you find that, I will gladly pay you money. That's going to be how we end every podcast. We ask our viewers if they can find your coin. All right, all right, all right. Get this, get this, viewers, viewers. Buy solemn vows and Don't. give them to me. Profit. No. That's market manipulation. No. The SEC is going to be on your ass. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we're, we're, we're no fucking soundsmith. We can't just be like, I want to buy a strange dupe shovel and make the price increase. Well, no, because all the One TFT users just make the price increases. Bro, wait until we get merch designs. That'll be tough. <laughs> wait. You no, I, I told y'all, the boner fart shirt has to be one of our first merch designs. It needs to be. Do you it think we can make a solemn vow plushie? Solemn vow. I would. I actually, unironically, would want a solemn vow. Plushie. Yeah, we can but, sell but, this. No, unlike unlike the text, it says funny yellow text or like red text or some shit. No, like no, 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 no. Like it's it's the solemn vow, except the the bus description instead of saying do no harm, it just says like hundred ninety seven dollar piss statue. Yeah, and then we can <laughs> recolor it to be fucking gold, and then we won't get copyright strike. Yeah, we'd have to look into that. In Australia, some fucking solemn vow. Exactly. The Australian. Bro, like, yeah. Yo, that would be high quality YouTuber merch, not a shitty shirt with a five second paint design on it. Yeah, Emmett, I know who you're talking about. It sounds like a dream thing. Dream Minecraft, bro. Oh dream. my god. Dreams merch is such dude. ass. I can't oh, I can't stand the man. Isn't he like so a he's, fat like, he's like a hack and a cheat. Like uh, like cheating in like okay, so like I I've never I I have a one world record. It's not for speedrunning, but I, I follow speedrunning a lot. It's one of the and I, I'm a big fan of speedrunning. And like the fact that this man fucking cheated on the Minecraft speedrun and then just like so blatantly tried to be like, no uh pisses me off to no end. It's no, so I mean, the fact that he hired some on. unknown professor from a university to write him a paper that didn't even exonerate him, it just said it's very unlikely that this that he hacked. Took sped run by mistake. Sped run. Sped run. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I fucking. Oh, uh, oh yeah. When, when, when we get in Diamog 2? That's a good question. Minecraft Java Edition? Uh. It's not up here. I like how I like how I just said, "Let me know when you guys need me on for damage control." But like, this, like, we can't get we can't get much worse than Marcus like saying, "How do we know Sunday is Sunday?" Or me me ranting about how Thomas the Tank Engine is like the fucking totalitarian allegory. <laughs> Yo, uh, I have a note that we should end wait, on. I have a note when are the speedrunners with a set speed from Israel? I think that's the thing. <laughs> And then the second, the, or no, the two first ones. One's from Israel. Right. And the I, we we had we had Israel. said that we were gonna do like questions from fans, but the only people here are other TGC members. Yeah, right, uh, I got a question. I, guess I, I mean, I guess if any of them have a, a question, I don't know what the fuck yeah, they'd have. Questions, put it in a. DC. Nah, if y'all have a question, just request to speak, and we'll fucking. Oh yeah, you can do that. Yeah, yeah. 
We'll fucking say yeah, or just yeah. Silent murder. Bit. Did you know that Galen's Mormon? Go away. <laughs> Is it true? <laughs> like I read it. There, I disconnected him from the call. Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, my mom fucking told me. Okay, my great great grandfather literally helped design and build the fucking like steps of that massive fucking Mormon church in Utah. And like they were some of the first people to go out in the first wave of Mormons. Galen is canonically Mormon. I'm <laughs> he left again. Who kicked him out? Who fucking moved me to fucking audio? <laughs> Bring him back, dude. No, I got a question. I got a question. <laughs> hey, what's up, Mario? What? Hey, how's it going? Uh, question. Why the fuck is this episode so disjointed? Holy shit. It's, it's like not. I'm listening to a fever. Okay, thanks, a thanks, thanks, thanks for Thank talking. You. Thank you for your Thank question. You. It's not really disjointed. Yeah, I have a though. question for uh, that one gamer lad. Yeah, what? How much is 20 solemn vows worth? Uh, like regular Too ones? much. Too much. <laughs> Too much. Sounds I mean, good. like a two, like twenty regular solemn vows. Like they're not like. It's it's. How much are they worth to you? Oh. The same as market price. <laughs> like right, I'm, bet. I'm not right, gonna buy. I'm, I'm not gonna buy them for any more than like <laughs> they, they're <laughs> worth. Really he's been disjointed this entire time because I think he's just been. I don't think I've been disjointed. Like, like we've had a flow of conversation. Mm -hmm. yeah, but yes, to like, answer your question, Mario. Shows. It's gonna depend on who's childhood uh... games, and then we went to video okay. games, and then we went to conventions, which is a natural flow of things. Yes, but depending on right. who is hosting, we probably will be either more or less organized. Like if we did okay, one that was just week, the editors, yeah. we would probably basically have a script for the whole thing. This is just their first. Like, well, I mean, we like, no, 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 no. Here, I'm going to veto this entirely from th this point on. No fucking scripts. That would be the worst thing to this podcast. Yeah, you don't, you don't script the podcast. We become opiate. Well, well, not point. script. Why would you assume topics. I'd script the podcast? That's well, so like, lame. I like, how, I like how Ben pissed off both the editors. Wow. They felt, wow. They felt and the we, need we, to come we, in here. Gil has a question. We should decide on. We should decide on. Gil, topics, what? Uh, but Gil, okay. This is fine. I'm fine. With Gil, this. come on. What, what's your question? I invited him to speak. It Did should it? be. It should. We should yeah, have fine. topics. But you should okay, just I guess... have a script to read. From. Okay, what are we can't... No, I'm not when, when are we planning the D and D campaign? Um, okay, get this, get this. D and D campaign. Uh, when heavy update? Oh, so never. Shit. <laughs> he got that. that one. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I, I mean, if if y'all can find a day y'all agree on, like that, you'll be free. I'm down. Right. Uh... Like I'm down to do it on a Friday. We also, we also, we also legitimately have to bring movie night back. We have to bring it back. That was yeah. so much fun. Movie night was so much fun, because that, that shit movies and ranking on them. Yeah, like when we watched the Ewok movie, bro, that was oh some of the God. most fun we had. Yeah. We have to bring them back. Up stuff that the audience won't have any context over. I don't. I don't give a shit if the audience doesn't have context. <laughs> Like I like I like our audience, but also like, you know, mm -hmm. y'all don't know everything. We're not gonna share everything. All right, let's end this podcast so I Wait, can go. Wait, the second you watch movies on Disney Plus now? <gasps> Is it? Oh, <laughs> let's end this podcast so I can go and uh, not talk to anyone in the server for another two months. Okay. Okay. All right. What, what should we What should we end it on? Um. Uh. Here, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got, I got what we should Us. end it on. Okay. All right, all right. Okay. Be ready. It's I mean, gonna I can be, work it's on gonna be quick. Here. It's gonna be quick. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why did, Ooh. why did I just ping at everyone? Watch Steam Boy. <laughs> on the bump. I, 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 why? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I can see people looking on their phone now. <laughs> Why would you? Wait, 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 wait! I'll solve this. I'll solve this. Um... All right, you said you were gonna end it, uh, Luke. Well, I burped. 
and then people were talking over it. So yeah, like, and we, let's it. send it. Let's <laughs> cut her off. <laughs> ben. <laughs> I Alright. Who it. deleted my and message? We're going. Alright, alright. Who's deleting all of it? I don't fucking know. It doesn't matter. I hate phantom pings. Who? Who's? Yeah, no one fucking. Who? No one fucking phantom ping. Shit's dumb. Um, all right, Luke. What do you want to uh, end on? I, I yeah, burped. Please. Hold on. Give me a second. Oh. <laughs> He's got to build up. An, okay. Uh. He, uh. Scrumbumbula says, "Do drugs. Don't do school, kids." Bye.